Hi everyone and welcome to my October favourites. So I've got quite a few products that I've been really enjoying this month so I'm just going to get right into it because we will be here forever otherwise. But the first thing is nail polishers and it's not just one, it is ten. And I've been really enjoying this OPI kit which is their the top ten kit. So it's basically OPI's kind of best selling product. So you've got Alpen Snow, Bubble Bath, Tickle My Fancy my Francie, Kiss Me on the Tulips, Red Lights the Headwear, Big Apple Red, I'm Not Really a Waitress, You Don't Know Jacks, Vampsterdam and Linkin Park After Dark. Linkin Park After Dark is what I'm wearing right now but I've used all of these throughout the month and I love all of them. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is that the brushes are very tiny because obviously the bottles are so tiny so it's not the easiest application but they are very very nice indeed and I would definitely recommend it. They'd make a great Christmas present for someone who likes nail polish as well. Then the next thing I've got here is a fragrance and I haven't had this all month but I know that I love it so I feel confident enough sharing and it's the Jo Malone um, Lime, what's it? Lime, Basil and Mandarin. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this. It's just so fresh and beautiful and different and just beautiful. I bought it in Selfridges when I went there on my birthday last week and I'm just in love with it. I've worn it every single day which is unheard of for me and I just think it's beautiful. Then um, shall we do skincare or makeup first? Let's do, well I've got one body item, let's do that. I am going to do a full review of this because it's that great but this is the Gigi Brazilian Bikini Wax. It looks disgusting because as you know DIY waxing is messy but this is fantastic. It pulls every single hair out deep, deep from the root, very easy to use, inexpensive, and just a great product. And like I said, I will do a full review of this because it's that nice. Then, in terms of skincare, my skin's been quite dry lately and just not been behaving itself. So I have been using kind of more oils and that kind of thing. And I've been using the Raw, raw Skincare Concentrate Skin Serum. This is 100% natural, which is really nice. I like the packaging, the little blue glass bottle, the little pipette applicator. Really, really sweet and very um, soothing and it doesn't break me out. I find that I can use facial oils and they don't break me out, even though I've got quite oily skin. And then the other one, which I really like, is the Ren Vitamin Omega 3 Optimum Skin Serum Oil. I used this when I had a couple of late nights um, last week and my skin was looking a little bit worse for wear. This really did help and it kind of brings your skin back to life and gives it a boost of moisture. And I really like the packaging of this. I think it's different for a um, oil because it's got the kind of classic pump rather than the little pipette applicator. So I do really like this. Then what else have I got? Um, one skincare item. This is by Cordily and to be honest I was sent a package from Cordily with a couple of bits in it and I love every single one of them. It's such a lovely brand. And this is the Vinosource Fluid Mattifiant Hydrate and this is oil free and it's basically just a mattifying cream but boy is it mattifying. It really helps to kind of give your skin a refined smooth texture. That's what it looks like. Just really really nice and easy to use and really effective. It's the most effective mattifying um, cream I've ever used. It kind of acts more like a primer than a lotion. Really like this, especially if you've got quite open pores. It's really great. Then I have got one more nail polish and this actually represents the whole thing and I am going to do a full review of, about the Sensation Nail Kit but this is from Dusk Till Dawn. I'm wearing this on my toes. I really like it for toes. I don't love it as much for hands which is um, a bit unusual to say I suppose but for toes really like this. It's really nice. Then everything else I've got in here is makeup. I have been loving makeup lately and I've got two lip products first. This one is by Revlon and it's their Colour Burst Lip um, Gloss in Adorned. Beautiful, beautiful, shocking, bright pink colour. <clears throat> very pigmented, doesn't move around and just a great, great all round lip gloss. Very nice for this time of year if you want something very party appropriate. And then this is by Seventeen and it's their In Feared. <coughs> Sorry, um, lipstick. It looks darker than it is in the tube. It's very, very pretty. I'll swatch it here for you. It's just a kind of true red. Very pretty for this time of year and flattering on different skin tones. And I like the formulation of these lipsticks. It's really pretty. So that's that. And then for eyes, I've been going back to my beloved Maybelline colour tattoo in On and On Bronze. It's just this kind of silvery taupe colour, lovely. I wish they did more shades of these that I like because I feel like the colours are a bit weird. But this one is just beautiful and it's very, very appropriate for autumn. And then I've got a concealer that I've been really loving this month. This is the 
17 stay time concealer I've got a couple of 17 bits because they did send me um, a package to try some products and I've been loving the foundation and the concealer so I did a kind of demo of those a couple of videos back I'll try and link that down below but both of these I love the foundation is amazing full coverage it's just beautiful beautiful foundation for six pounds and the concealer is really lovely as well they did send me a couple of other concealers but this is my favorite and then my favorite favorite product of this month favorite of favorites is by soap and glory and this is their archery brow tin and bristles and shaping pencil which looks like this it's just amazing it's got kind of felt tip on one end a pencil on the other and it's just beautiful I'm wearing it in my brows today and it just gives a really beautiful kind of defined finish but not too strong and fake looking it's a really 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 lovely product and I love it and then that is it for beauty products and I've just got a candle and I've actually burnt this out but I'm going to repurchase it and it's the crinkle candle autumn winds candle and it just smells really autumnal and kind of wintry but not Christmassy and I feel like that's how it tends to go with candles you have ones that smell like Christmas and then you get the kind of more um, deep strong winter scents and those are the ones I tend to prefer I don't like the kind of really sugary scents that you get around Christmas time but I do really like this and it's very warm and kind of cozy it's a cozy scent and then for kind of random favorites and things like that I have got a couple here I've written them down because otherwise I forget so my favorite TV show of the month has been the favorite which is a reality show with Naomi Campbell, Erin O'Connor, Caroline, Caroline, oh, that's an email notification, Caroline Weinberg I think her name is, um, but it's basically a modelling kind of programme and I love it, I love Naomi Campbell, I know she's quite a controversial personality, I tend to like controversial personalities, but I love her, I think she's just stunning and amazing and I think she's just great so I've been really really enjoying that I think it's on Sky HD Atlantic or whatever that channel's called but um very very good program if you like that sort of thing and I've also been enjoying Homeland I'm kind of struggling to get into Homeland a little bit because it's annoying me that Brody's not in it very much because I love him and he's my favorite and the whole Carrie's story is really good but you do kind of feel sorry for her and I don't know I'm kind of struggling to get into it I do love it but it's not what it was for me without Brody and I know he's leaving at the end of the season so I don't know I just hope they're not going to bring him back for like two episodes and then make him leave because I will be a bit heartbroken because I love Damien Lewis and then the blogger um, and YouTuber that I've been loving this month is Brit's Beauty Blog I think British Beauty Blog I can't remember exactly what her name is sorry I'm really crap at it but I I will um, put an annotation here and she does YouTube videos and she's got a fantastic blog I've read her blog for years but she does really informative videos now about the kind of blogging industry and PR and that kind of thing so if you're into that kind of thing it's really interesting she presents herself really well and her blog's just amazing and I've been really enjoying it Miss Budget Beauty mentioned her and I went and found her through her brilliant go and subscribe to her and um, she's fairly new on youtube so go and show her some love because she really really deserves it and then the other one is someone that i have mentioned in my favorites a while ago and it's miss ginger mrs ginger oh i can't mrs ginger 2013 i think that's her username i'll put it down below been watching her videos a lot lately um i've mentioned it before but again great videos she does loads of videos and they're really kind of product loaded and it's just great to kind of get to know what's out there so i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna go now because i've probably been talking for ages but i'm very excited about the things i've been loving this month because i've been using a lot this month so i'm gonna leave you um but i hope you enjoyed this let me know what your favorite products this month have been and let me know if you've been watching the face and if you like it as well and whose team are you on we're definitely team naomi in this house so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you next time.